Hi, welcome back to another At Home with Art Factory. This one is the last of the second box and we're going to be painting a birdhouse. So it's very simple, all we need to do is take out the wooden pack of bits, your paint pots, which we're gonna unwrap from the cling film, and your paint brushes, you should have three in the box. Not that you really need three, but we've got three just in case. So let's get everything unwrapped. We're going to assemble the birdhouse and then we're going to have a look at painting it. So let's do that. We're going to take the packet and get it open. Inside the box, you also got some instructions that shows you how to do it. Some of them in colour, some in black and white, but it shows you exactly how the pieces go together there. So we're going to follow these instructions. We're going to get those bits together. Okay, so the four bits that we start with, that we put together, are one, two, And then these ones with, with the nobble on the end and the four holes. So there's my four parts all slotted together. We'll put the roof together first. And then on the top. Like this. Right, last piece underneath. No, no, turn it upside down, I think. And then, carefully. We've wrestled our bird houses together, a little bit tricky. You might need a grown-up's help to help you with the slotting, but it's very doable. And once it's all slotted together, we're ready to paint it. You might want to put your string in now, because it'll help you to hang it up when you've painted it, or it might just get in the way. I'm going to leave mine off for the minute. So, in terms of the colours and designs that you're going to do, we're not going to sketch down a plan today. You might choose to at home, that's totally up to you. We're going to have a little think and a little talk and we're going to get straight to it. So, do you have ideas about what you might do on your birdhouse today? Tell me, talk to I me. I might do scales, like... Uh, scales? Well, like bird feathers? Yeah, and like going up in different colours. Okay, you're going to draw a pattern that goes across it in different colours. I want to draw something that's appealing to birds and also going to look pretty in the tree. So I definitely want something bright and colourful. We've got all of these colours which we can make any colour from. White, black, red and blue, yellow and green also. And they're very strong colours as well so make sure that you've got something underneath you when you do the painting, I've got a piece of card that's going to protect the table. But these colours, they will stay in your fingers and they will stay in your table. So beware, be careful with the paints. And you can mix them together on a plate if you need to, to make a, a combined colour with them. Let's get going. I hope you guys have some good ideas of what you might do. You're going to do some colourful feathers on yours. Scales, you said. Mine is going to be a surprise. There 
there we have it. We've got our two bird houses here. Mine is kind of parroty, I guess, or a very colorful artichoke. It's definitely bird based, I think. And your one, I don't know exactly what your inspiration is. I think it was gonna be feathery in the first place or it was gonna have gills. It reminds me of a beach house. I did it, but beach then I made a mistake. So you changed your plans. Changed it, but it, there's a bit of ridges, a bit of feathers in there, but I think it looks like a very fun beach hut. The birds might think they've got a day out at the beach that's up in the tree. Either way, I love it. What ideas have you guys had? You might have done it to look like a bird. You could have done a flamingo one, which was all pink with black bits or like a pigeon that looks like a pigeon itself. I'm not sure if pigeons will fit in here. Only very small birds are gonna go in here. Hang it in the garden. And after a while, once they get used to it, maybe put a bit of bird food on it, on the, on the ledge there. Once they get used to it, they will come. I've got one hanging in the garden and they come to it all the time. I didn't think they would because it was bright and I was told that they don't like bright things, but it's not true. They just gotta trust it for a little while. So there you have it. What ideas have you had? As always, please send me photos. And before long, there'll be box three on the way in September. So keep in touch. And I hope you've had a good time doing these Art Factory boxes at home. And until next time, bye from me. Bye. Bye.